Welcome to New York State Promise, Emerging Voices. Today's topic is following up with a budding artist. New York State Promise student Terry is passionate about art and has a strong work ethic. He has settled in at Cohoes High School after being in two other districts and is now doing very well. Promise first introduced you to Terry's story in 2015 when his case manager, Amelia Allen, went on a field trip with Terry to a museum, which broadened his horizons. Now, two years later, Terry is continuing to improve his artistic skills and is exploring different career options with the assistance of the Promise team. I met Terry at Lansenburg at one of our recruitment events. They were the only family that came. So we had a very long discussion. I got to know him and his whole family very quickly. His little brother and sister were there. He would said early on he really likes art and it's kind of his main focus, but obviously art can mean a lot of different things. So we tried a lot of different stuff. One of them was just going to a museum to see like fine art. I was trying to get him out to like screen printing places, like where they do t-shirts or mugs or whatever, so that he could see how you can go from like a pattern artistic design and have that switch over to like a practical thing that you can buy. He was able to go actually on a tour to the Macarin products, and that's basically what they do. So he really loved that tour. Terry tells how he first got interested in art. I started watching my cousin like draw. Then I was looking at it, then I got, I told mom, can I like buy me a drawing book, whatever. So I started getting the hang of it, and I noticed I was an artist, so I just kept drawing and drawing. People told me that you could draw me a tattoo or whatever, and I draw for them, and they'll get it, and they'll pay me, and make $5, $25. In terms of working, like last year he did a summer youth employment job, and he did really, really well. It was something that when he was at Troy, the, some of the staff there thought he would need one-on-one -on -one support all the time. Um, I didn't really think that. And I think that's because of Promise. I was able to see him both at school and at home, which are two very different perspectives of people. In the end, like he did what I thought he would do, which was he just needed one day of being told what to do, and then he was pretty much set. He was really successful. He worked at um, the Salvation Army in their food pantry. So he worked with, the, he worked with you know, customer service, with food. He did a lot of things, but he enjoyed it, and they loved him there. In addition to learning skills and how to interact in workplace settings from his summer youth employment experience, Promise is also working with Terry about how to present himself professionally when he goes on interviews. I'll leave my phone off and, and then dress with edible and talk in a calm voice. He definitely has ideas rolling around. I think his dream is to do something in art and he really did like that tour where he went to this Macarin products place. But he also is interested in construction. It's something that I think he knows a lot of people who do construction and they make a decent amount of money. You know, they can have a home and it's something he knows he could do. He can do physical labor. Um, so that's something that he does He's been on a tour to Hudson Valley Community College. It's a tour of their construction program. And he, and he did seem really interested in that. So like we, I have those like kind of two focuses for him. It's like art or construction. The New York State Promise Project produced this video under a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Department of Education.